What's up, everyone? Just like your heart is essential for the working of your body, a CPU is essential for the proper functioning of your whole system. Since so much of our work needs to be done on our system, it can be quite overwhelming to find the best CPU for your workstation. There are a number of options in the market, which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compiled a list of the top five best CPUs for video editing on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we have Best Intel CPU for Video Editing, Intel Core i7-9700K. Recent buyers are all praised for this amazing product. They really like the higher RAM memory that comes included with the package. This higher Optane memory allows them to not only store more data, but also to work effectively with more data. Moreover, the product comes with 8 cores and 8 threads that are essential for video editing. Its pros are, it is built with solder thermal interface material. It can effectively support the Intel UHD Graphics 630. It can cater to the high-end and professional demands. It can effectively manage the excess heat accumulation. And it allows for simultaneously recording, streaming, and gaming. However, the cooling device is not included in the package. It is compatible with only the Intel 300 chipset. And it has a lower combined cache than some other models. Bottom line is, it comes with 8 cores and 8 threads for optimal functioning. It supports 3.6 GHz to 4.9 GHz of memory and it's the best Intel CPU for video editing. Next, we have best CPU for gaming and video editing, AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. The seven nanometer technology of the model has won hearts and not just of recent buyers, but consumers all over. The CPU provides users with a cool and quiet environment that offers efficiency with comfort. Moreover, the higher number of processing threads makes it a good investment for buyers looking to multitask with their CPUs. Its pros are, it has a higher game cache of 70 megabytes. The cooler control of LED is also supported. It comes with DDR3200 complete support. It is totally unclocked for overclocking purposes. And it comes bundled with the AMD Wraith Prism and a joint cooler. However, it has lesser compatibility with some other models. The warranty does not cover damage caused by overclocking, and the Precision Boost Overdrive requires AMD Ryzen Threadripper. Bottom line is, it's the best CPU for gaming and video editing. It can successfully deliver an ultra-fast FPS performance, and it comes with 12 cores and 24 processing threads. Next, we have Best Budget CPU for Video Editing, AMD Ryzen 5 2600X. The Ryzen is best for people interested in gaming and video editing, but more importantly, it is considered to be the perfect CPU for people shopping on a budget. The higher cache makes the user perform editing in a much better way by shifting the data directly from the cache rather than through RAM. Its pros are, it comes with a Wraith Spire cooler, it comes capable with silent operation, it has a higher cache than most other models, it's bolstered by the thermal hardware system, and its frequency is relatively higher than some other models. However, it has a lesser number of cores and threads. It requires a socket AM4 motherboard, and video editing might take longer than other models. Bottom line is, it gives you a 3-month pass of Xbox gaming. It comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, and it's the best budget CPU for video editing. Next we have runner-up, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2950X. This model is leading its way and becoming one of the most sought-out products for virtual production, storytelling, and video editing. Its fast processing enables you to get the best experience at scale and to complete tasks in a much smaller way. Moreover, it's suitable for making advanced upgrades and edits to your videos. Its pros are, it ensures frame rendering for the final time. It comes with a higher number of cores and threads. The higher bandwidth is achieved by the desktop processor. It allows you to experience virtual environments at a scale level, and it can be easily overclocked by the new Boost Overdrive system. However, the cooler is not included in the system. The cache is slightly less than some other models, and the operating system can vastly vary via manufacturer. Bottom line is, 
It comes with updates to second-gen Ryzen technology and related advancements. It has 16 cores and 32 processing threads. And it comes with a smart maximum boost frequency. Finally, we have best overall, Intel Core i9-9900K. Recent buyers are extremely happy with this product and have left reviews that have compelled us to name it as the best overall product. It comes with an Intel Boost technology that not only makes your work easier, but also allows you to complete tasks in less time. Fans have also praised its overclocking feature that allows them to make edits in the best way possible. Its pros are, it can support 3.6 GHz up to 5 GHz. It comes with overclockable and unlocking technology. It comes with 8 cores and 16 threads for more diversity. It works really well with performance level entry games. And it allows for multitasking such as streaming, gaming, and recording. However, the number of cores is only the bare minimum. It's a relatively higher price than most other models and it is compatible with motherboards that only fall in the Intel 300 series chipsets. Bottom line is, it comes with Intel Turbo and Boost Maximum technology. It can support the Intel Optane memory system, and it features the Intel UHD Graphics 630. There you have it, our top 5 best CPUs for video editing on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.